Hey, everybody. Uh, doing my home run recap for last week. Smiles. All smiles here. Let's talk about it real quick. Uh, last week, Mark and Vince with, with Bobby Witt Jr. It's weird that those two have been copying each other. Mostly Vince goes first, and then Mark's like, yeah, sounds like a good idea. I'll jump on that train. Uh, they don't know. They don't usually pick the same day, but they have. Um, I don't know what's going on there. I feel like there's some colluding in the background. Uh, maybe there's there's something. Something's going on. Uh, I'm about to about to. I don't know. Throw a red flag or something. But uh, it worked out to my advantage last week because Bobby Witt um, zero home runs. Zero. Brad took Yordy. Not bad. Um, Yordy had no home runs. Whoa. That means Mark had no home runs. Yordy had no home runs. Or Yordy. Brad had no home runs. Vince had no home runs. That's a lot of blanks. Uh, I took Lou Bob. You know what? I was in Chicago. Uh, and I was like, hey, what cards do I have? I need to, I need to get something in. Uh, and I was like, you know what? I, I'm pretty sure I have a Lou Bob card. Plus, I'm in Chicago. I wish I could have picked the game I went to, uh, at least at the time. I'm, now I'm glad I didn't because nobody hit a home run. But that would have been fun to be able to see your guy hit a home run, add in a way ballpark. That would have been rad. I would have absolutely done that. Um, but I, I couldn't do it. And when I got back, I was tired. I'm like, hey, I know I took a Lou Bob. I'll go ahead and just take Saturday. Um, I didn't do a lot of research or anything. And uh, let's see, Lou Bob hit a home run on the 27th. That's one point. And then on the 29th, he hit a long bomb. So I, I got a point for the home run, called it, or a home run. I got an extra two points because they called it. And he hit it like 470 feet or something. Five points. That's a fiver right there. That's six points for me. Last week, when Mark got, Brad got, Vince got, oh, come on, we know we know how this is working. <laughs> Six points for me, yes. And it's even better because the other three losers didn't get anything at all. That means it's all profit for me. Bank, bank, bank. That's what I'm talking about. Um, I didn't put this out earlier because this following week I picked uh, Vlad, and I was gonna do it. I picked Monday. Uh, cause Vlad has been on a tear, but he got, he was a late scratch. So I was really hoping to be extra, super annoying about calling it right two weeks in a row. But, uh, my one week, my one week, uh, calling it right streak, uh, is fine. You know, calling it right every once in a while is great. Uh, so let's see, uh, Mark got zero points last week. He's at 23. Brad, zero as, as expected. Uh, 10 points somehow. How, how does Kirby have 10 points already? Who knows? Uh, Vince, zero points. Up 24. He is still in first place. Six points for this guy. Puts me in third place at 21. I mean, except for Brad, who has no idea what he's doing. This is a pretty close race. Um, I also do my called it right stat. Uh, Mark has called it right four times. Brad, uno. Uh, Ben three times and I and up to four. Maybe I got the keys to the DeLorean. Who knows? Who knows? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident. Uh, that was fun. It was fun doing, do, calling it right, but it was even more fun. The other three losers have no idea what they're doing. Couldn't even get one point on the board between the three of them. <sighs> this week I'm going, obviously going with Vlad. Uh, I went with Monday, and he got scratched, so nothing. Uh, I didn't even check to see what he did on Tuesday. Vince is uh, Bobby V. Bobby V. Bobby Valentine. See, it's just an automatic reaction. When somebody says Bobby, I think Bobby Valentine. Of course, the great manager of the Rangers and restaurateur. Um, Brad's going with Bobo. Mark is going with Matt Olson. I don't even know how Matt's been doing this year. Last year, he was on a tear. Uh, but I haven't heard a whole lot about him this year. So we'll see how that all works out. Um, so we know how it works. If I call it right, I um, here's my Lou Bob card. I put that one in Summer Special. Um, I always add something extra fun. 
here's my here's my Vlad Jr. card. Uh, there's my number back there. And just in case, you know, they're like, ah, Justin, you're cheating. Um, so I called it right last week. I'm going to add this numbered Lance Lynn. I like Lance. He's, he was pretty decent with the Rangers. I have the numbered Blake Rutherford, uh, rookie. We have a numbered, uh, Lurie, Lurie Garcia. These are all White Sox. These are, grab some White Sox cards and some kid name. Diego Vieira. I don't know. White Sox. I pulled it out of a Bowman card, so it doesn't have the White Sox things on it. But it does say Chicago on the back. I'm pretty... Yeah, it's definitely White Sox. So, three numbered cards and an autograph for calling it right as a victory to me and to you. Uh, this week, I'm going with Vlad. I'm, I just pulled out some cards that I kind of like. I kind of like this uh, uh, Topps Home Run or uh, Topps Baseball Day card. You got a little... Stars. I like this one because it's got trout in it too. It's kind of fun. I like Alan and Ginter. It's just a great card. I like that when baseball cards feel like baseball cards. Here's the one from the uh, Home Run Derby. I actually thought that was fun. This one has uh, Guriel and Brantley in it just for grins. And uh, this one is from, this is the Home Run Challenge card used, but from last year or maybe, the, I think that's last year, but I used it already. But hey, it's another card. Um, of course, I did not call it right, so I won't be adding any uh, cool Toronto cards this week. But you never know. Maybe I have uh, I have some Bo, Bo Bichette cards. Maybe I'll I'll add those next week. Um, that's it. So here's the other deal. I always talk about um, my giveaway, and my giveaway will be uh, at the end of the month. So you still have time to get in for the last two or three. It'll, it'll be listed in my, my description um, to go over there. Sub, thumbs up, hashtag, nerd nation. So you still get into the old ones, you're good to go. Um, and then there's going to be a new one down. It's going to be Phil over at Philtastic. Uh, great comic book channel. He's a great artist. Uh, I like that he does stuff with his wife and his kids. Uh, family channels, those are fun. Um, Phil's also doing a giveaway at the moment. And um, in addition to his normal stuff, he is doing a... Uh, kind of a push for a charity donation um, to Feed America. And if you do a donation, um, he'll give you an extra spot in his giveaway uh, if you just hit him up on Instagram. And if you do that, let me know too, and I'll give you an extra spot on mine. Hey, double doubling up um, for so far these cards, but there's going to be three more weeks worth of cards that will go on top of this, hopefully some, some more autographs because I got some right. That's what I want. Um, but yeah, go over to Phil and uh, this, he'll do the same thing that we normally do, which is make sure you're subbed up um, and thumbs up and hashtag nerd nation. Make sure you're subbed because that's what all the cool kids are doing. This whole thing is about having fun and promoting the community, helping everybody just kind of connect and have a good time with each other. This is a, this is a good thing. That's what YouTube's all about, I guess. Um, I'm having fun with it. I hope you're having fun with it too. I'm going to go ahead and let y'all go. Um, come on. At least, hopefully Vlad can at least hit something else, man. I know we didn't hit one on Monday, but I'm really excited that Tops is going to send me a new card for that one. That's it. Have a great week, everybody. Hey, happy, happy fourth. Hey, happy Canada day. Uh, on the first, all the, our, our wonderful Canadian friends, um, it tastes the third, so to probably some fireworks tonight. I know we saw some last week. Probably going to see some more tomorrow, too. <sighs> hot dogs. Is, is hot dogs, is that, is that like your go-to? Hey, it's July, it's July 4th. It is Independence Day. What is your go-to food? Hot dogs. Beans. Beer. Can you beat it? You're a nerd. Come again? You are a nerd. Okay, you better take that back, nerd. Can't put the truth back in the box.